everybody and welcome back to episode two of our kind of county rural county build river valley county we are just about ready to make it into milestone number two that would be into small village literally we just have four xp to unlock and then we're going to get two more development points four expansion permits Seven hundred thousand dollars in cash. We're gonna unlock one hundred fifty thousand dollar loan limit. Taxation, medium density housing, education, elementary schools, and high schools. So while we are waiting for that, we do have some more residential demand. So let's go ahead and satisfy that demand. It's in the fill tool. And we might as well fill out this grid a little bit more. We have a little bit of business demand. That we're going to use. Just get some different types of buildings in here. I'm going to zone in different shapes. And you see how our row houses have populated in here. What are those three-story row houses? So we could continue that. Brand along this street. That should squelch that demand and there we go, small village. Just what I wanted. Now, as I said, I'm gonna to prioritize roads, road maintenance, because I wanna to get to these and roundabouts. We've done that. Now we've also unlocked education, college. I think it's gonna be a little bit before we need to really bother with that too much, but Let's go ahead and take a look. We've unlocked elementary school. Elementary school is a fairly large asset as well. It has some expansion and upgrades. So I think what we should do is kind of build out a road here and maybe put some of these services on that road. We're going to use a four lane road for that. Straight line tool. Elementary school down, and we'll put our high school right here, kind of in the middle. Satisfy both of those needs. And if we click on the building, you'll see that we do have some upgrades. We can do a children's clinic plus five health for students. It's going to attach to the side or back of the building. We have extension wings, which will provide an additional 500 student capacity. Or we could provide a playground. And the playground benefit is plus 10% well being within 328 yards and plus 5% well being for students. So let's just put that in. Now, as far as our high school goes, we once again have some upgrades to that we can do an extension wing it's going to pop there on the right it's going to be an additional 400 student capacity you can add a library which is going to be a wing on the left here this is going to improve our chances to graduate and we can put a sports field in plus 40 for outdoor recreation and plus 25 on the attractiveness and it is a big boy asset for sure 
So let's put that, let's put that like right there. Then we have some ideas on what we can do. And let's just rename this to, um, Rivertown City High School. And we're going to name this Rivertown City Elementary School. So that's our elementary and high school that is a part of this city. Right? And then we're going to have county, county high schools and county elementary schools scattered around the map as much as we need to kind of support the area. As far as roundabouts go, I said we had this horrible intersection. Let's try to do something with that. I don't think they're saving this intersection, quite frankly. We're going to have to do something with that later. But we can definitely do some roundabouts in these busier intersections. And we unlocked road maintenance. So our roads are going to need maintenance. Otherwise, well, people's vehicles are going to break down or worse people are going to crash uh, I'm going to put my road maintenance building over here where this is kind of our industrial area and our road maintenance building also has an upgrade we're going to do five additional maintenance vehicles to the garage there. So we have 10 maintenance vehicles now. And it will just... It will just drive around the city and it will maintain our roads as it does that. Now there'll be 10 of these little trucks driving around all the time. We also have upgrades on our medical clinic we put down. We can add an additional five ambulances. Or we can add an extension wing, and that attaches to the back, or in theory, side, to provide additional patients. Crematorium. Well, we can add an additional incinerator for additional capacity. We can add a garage for additional hearsts. Go around and pick up deceased and we can add refrigeration recent spikes in which will allow us to store more deceased fresh water before supply. they are the processed should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand this has been a local public service announcement so let's continue our grid a little bit And we remember we lost our we lost our road running along the river.
So we can just add to that a little bit here. landscaping here let's right click here then let's try to bring the river's edge up a little bit things happen when I start messing with landscaping. Very, very bad things happen. out of it. And here I was just trying to get a little bit more riverfront property. We've also unlocked medium density apartments. So we could put some apartments here along our main street. And let's just do a couple of these and just see how they look. As far as height wise, you can see our crane pop in there. Low density housing. We have unlocked the Rock Magician's Manor. Famous rock star lives here when not on a tour. We're going to find that under signature buildings. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to put him... put him right there. Let's design this. And this is going to give us plus two well-being within 547 yards. asset. There's the rock star's mansion.
So we're almost on our way to the next milestone already, which is large village. Nice. How many more businesses? I like to intermix business with residential. All right? People want to have grocery stores. They want to have you know, other things. So if we come back here to our apartments, you can see this one hasn't popped in yet, but you see the height of this crane, the height of this crane, right? So the bigger the pad, in theory, the bigger the building. And we haven't had to add any of our in industry, any more industry since we first put that down. Things are going well. So you see our roads here. Well maintained. Traffic is not too bad. Well, I'd hope not. But just 360 some residents. Power flow is doing swimmingly. We are importing all of our power. We don't have any power creation yet. We are, have good water. We have good health care and death care. And we are processing or restoring garbage. We have 62 students or 62 eligible, 56 students out of a thousand, 17 high school students. And tourists like to come and visit our high school. Well, I suspect they'd like to come to visit our stadium. That's what they really want to see. Oh, there we have our apartment buildings. Popped in now. So our nine households, 14 households, and 30 households. some there up in some more of these row houses and I think I like I think I like the size of this three by three. So I want to see if I do it. Let's see what happens if I do that. When I get the same resulting building, or do I need to make it three by six? I think I may get the same resulting building there. While well, we're waiting for our next milestone.
straight line to it. Let's try this grid right here. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow for a second chance to hear the music of yesteryear. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying to move here, right? 280. A program to desire certain right, representations manually. within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. One forty. Consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human. Thank psyche. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. This built out. The leader of the City Services Division is with us in the studio today to talk about why they're contracting with outside agencies to provide vital services for our residents. Isn't that going to be costly, Mr. Council? There we go. Uh, well, quite frankly, yes. Large it's village. an okay. additional expense, but the residents have come to expect a certain level of services, and we simply do not have the capacity to provide them within the city. Sounds like we're the ones who will end up paying for it. Should we be worried? I expect the residents would be more distressed if key services became unavailable. Their quality of life is very important to them. But so is their money. We'll be back after this. Get that built out now. Large village. We unlocked. $200,000 loan limit, an additional $800,000 in cash, three development points, five expansion permits, service budgets, livestock farming, stone mining, fire and rescue, firehouse, police station. We have three development points. So we can put those into large roads and highways to eventually get to intersections and a grand bridge. We can put it into a recycling center or incinerator plant. The incinerator plant would be useful as opposed to our landfill. One, it does, does do some pollution, but two, it creates energy while it burns trash. So right now we are importing all of our electricity. The other is a recycling center. And then we have fire and rescue, small emergency tower, fire watch tower, fire station, welfare office, police headquarters. So this kind of interests me. The incinerator plant, we can then get rid of our landfill pretty quick order and um, well burn our trash instead so let's take care of this before we forget about it our police station so our firehouse
that over here by our clinic and then our police station might be put right here over here with our service building there we go so now we have fire and rescue and this building also has some expansion we can add additional four fire trucks just like that and then keeping to the trend our police station we can add an additional six patrol cars there they go out patrolling and keeping us safe. Of course, the reason I was building this was because, well, we have an insatiable appetite for housing. A little pollution starting to pile up here. Not too bad, though. Some more business need. Early on, it's really just about kind of appeasing the overall city's demands. But yeah, three by three is the same size. No, 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 no. But what I really want to unlock quite frankly, is parking areas. Remember I said I had a goal or I had a plan over here? Is we have parking lots we can put in now. So now we've expanded our parking for the, obviously the stadium. And we can supply parking. At other areas, we have an underground or an overground parking deck. We don't really need that. Very large parking lot. Large parking lot. And we can charge parking. So if we charge for parking, then we can like get people off off the uh, streets. Put parking on the streets. If we wanted to. Some assets have parking kind of built in, others won't. But you'll see cars start to make use of these these parking lots. That we put in and we get the cars off the streets. See those houses are starting to uh, pop in. Our 
landfill. And I think next time we'll start working on this as far as a residential grid. Put in some more industry. And we unlocked specialized industry in livestock farming. Okay, maybe that's how we will close this out. Maybe we'll do a livestock. Maybe we'll have some farming over here on this, this area. Now, livestock farming does not require fertile land. Okay. So, for example, what we could do is we could put livestock farm right here. And then we have to define the area for which this farm will, well, provide its livestock services. Basically, how much land is going to be reserved for the farm. And the more land that we provide, then the more basically it can produce. And now that we've defined our farm working area, we get this kind of a field texture. And then these animal buildings are going to pop in. And now we are uh, producing livestock. So this will now become a input for our industry over here. So we have some industry that is specific to agriculture. This one requires grain to do beverages. Timber, rock, wood. So here we go. Requires livestock and produces convenient foods. So our livestock farm is now going to take livestock, drive it around, and conceivably can deliver it to this factory. And this factory then take that livestock that we grew here in our budding river town city and uh, produce convenience foods that it can then, in theory, well, sell at uh, Lori's Lentils or any other. food establishment here that we have in town. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for episode two of our River Valley Country County. Sorry. River Valley County Let's Play series here on City Skylines 2. We're halfway, almost halfway to our next milestone. This is going to be Grand Village. We have like a whole bunch of stuff at Grand Village, including small parks, large parks, various deco buildings, and such. Hope you all are enjoying this series. We're going to be making, I think we're going to make some more farmland over here and some more residential in the next video we'll also maybe grid out this make this a uh, nice little residential area till next time the second moon. happy city building